Helen Graves, I'm a food writer and an author and today I'm going to show you how to make Cornish pasties with a beer and onion gravy. Okay, so we're going to start off by making the filling for the pasties. Um, so what I've got here is some potatoes, some swede, some onions and some lovely chopped up steak. Um, I've used sirloin steak, uh, which is quite a good cut to use for the pasties. So uh, once everything's in the bowl, it's actually much easier to just sort of mix it with your hands, really, to be honest. If you've got people around on a Friday night, this is something that's like really, really easy to put together. Just fun. Good, um, good beer food as well. <laughs> um, the important thing with uh, Cornish pasties is to really season them really highly, because um, otherwise they can come out a little bit bland. So um, what I like to do is use a mixture of white and black pepper, because white gives that a sort of old school t uh, flavour. Um, and then it's just a really nice combination. You can always use a pepper grinder, of course, but um, I haven't filled up my pepper grinder, so that's why I find myself crushing peppercorns in a pass of the mortar. <laughs> right, fine. Okay, so we've got a nice mixture of white and uh, black peppercorns, which is smelling really good. So um, you want to be really generous. So I'd say a couple of teaspoons, probably. And then good sea salt. Again, nice and generous. And then just give it another mix. With a Cornish pasty filling mix, you don't want it to be wet. So it's quite dry, really. Um, and then when you cook it, the sort of the natural juices come out inside and make everything all lovely. Um, and we're also going to put a little bit of butter in there as well. Um, so I'm just going to clear the decks here so that I can roll out the pastry. Right, so we're going to get a really good dusting of flour on there. And smoosh around. So we've got our pastry there, short crust pastry. Yeah, you just want to take this out of the fridge for 20 minutes before you're ready to use it. So we've got a nice little block there. And then what I'm going to do is, because we're going to make four pasties, so I'm just going to cut this into four. There we go. So what I like to do at this stage is just make it into a little circle <laughs> because my rolling isn't really the best, to be perfectly honest. So you want to have the pastry at a thickness of about a couple of millimetres, really. You need to flour up your rolling pin every now and again. You just keep turning it round. So with pasties, obviously there are lots of different fillings you could use. You could do like a mixed vegetable, you could do uh, squash is very nice in pasty, um, especially with a, a cheese, maybe like a feta or a mozzarella, something like that, some thyme in there. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I told you that I always make squares instead of circles, is I'm just going to put a bowl over the top and cut round it. So, Ta-da! <laughs> there we go, here we have my perfect circle that I rolled out myself. Okay, so we're gonna fill the pasties now. Um, so you just wanna basically divide your filling into four. Just do it by eye, it doesn't really matter. So basically just plonk it in the middle of the pastry. So that looks probably about right. So once we've got the filling in, you just want to put a knob of butter on top, um, or you could also use a clotted cream if you wanted to. So I've got my egg wash here, and I'm just going to brush around the outside. So um, we're just going to pull up the sides and crimp it together. Just give it a, an initial squish together, just to hold it in place. And then what I'm going to do is, just to make it look ultra fancy, is just use my fingers to make these little S shapes. And there we go. And then I just need to put an egg wash on top, but it's best to transfer it over to the tray first. And then just give it a brush all over. Okay, so I'm just going to pop them in the oven and I just want 35 to 40 minutes at gas mark 6. So basically these pasties now would be really good as they are on their own, just to hand around as sort of beer snacks or if you've got your mates around for an impromptu dinner. Um, but if you wanted to make more of a meal of it, then um, I've made some lovely beer and onion gravy, which is really nice to kind of pour on the top. Mm. 